What's going on guys? My name is Ben and welcome back to another video. Today, if you haven't noticed already, I'm wearing a quite embarrassing uh, Christmas jumper because I am going to film a special kind of video today. A Christmas special, something to get us in the mood and get us all feeling festive. You may remember last year that I wrapped my Z435 IS in Christmas paper. Couple of issues with that. One, it took all day. Two, by the time I got to show it off, it was dark, and then three, it then chucked it down. So that was kind of a pain in the ass. If you want to see that video, click up here. So today, I of course have the Boxster S behind me, and I am going to be covering it all the outside in Christmas lights. I have four boxes of multicolored Christmas lights to go onto this, so it should look rather good. I can't wait to see it. I'm going to drive around at night to try and get some reactions as well, but also tomorrow is the Porsche Owners Club meet down in Bicester. So I will also take the car there, and then I think the plan afterwards is to do a convoy to Caffeine Machine, so it should get a lot of attention, and uh, loads of people should be taking photos of it, and hopefully it will get people into to the Christmas spirit. So let's not waste out, let's not waste any more time and start getting these lights on the car and see how it's going to look. So a little progress update for you guys. We have done the bonnet, both doors, and the rear boot lid. Now, I originally bought four boxes of lights for this job, but we have already used them all. Let me give you a little walk around of what we have done. So on the bonnet, we have a kind of weird shaped triangle on the front, and then a, I don't know what kind of design that is on the door, but it's the same on the other side as well. It's looking quite good so far, I'm not gonna lie, very festive. And then the rear boot lid is all done as well. So. We have unfortunately used all the boxes that I had uh, intended to buy for this car, essentially. So we, I think the plan now is to head over to B&M and buy some more so we can finish this car off and have it looking absolutely fantastic. from B&M and unfortunately they didn't have any battery powered ones like the ones that are currently on the car. We got a pack of 400, these are quite long so should hopefully go quite far um, and then we're going to have to try and modify them so they work off some kind of battery in the car uh, as I don't want to plug them into the cigarette lighter um, because I want the lights pr pretty much always on when the car's parked up. So the car is over there, let's get these on before it gets dark. insane. It looks so much better than I thought it did. I'm so glad I went out and I brought an additional 30 meters of lights because before all we had enough for was the bonnet, both doors and the boot lid. So now it just looks incredible. Imagine seeing this on the road at night. I think I am going to have to take this out for a little spin. But my plan is to tomorrow head up to Bicester Heritage as there is a Porsche owner's meet on, which I think I said earlier. And uh, I'm gonna turn up with this all lit up and I know it won't have the same effect in the day, but by nighttime, this is gonna turn a lot of heads and I cannot wait to 
drive it essentially <laughs> it looks bloody brilliant but i will catch up with you guys tomorrow in the morning bright and early ready for bista heritage morning then guys so the car is behind me and is just warming up before i head on out it did absolutely chuck it down last night so i have been around the entire car and i have checked that the tape and all the lights are still working, which they are. Thankfully, they are outdoor lights. But now I have a hour's drive to Bista Heritage for this Porsche owner's meet. So let's jump in the car. I will switch all the lights on and we'll head on over. made it over to Bista Heritage. This event is crazy. There are around 2,000 cars here, which I just didn't quite uh, comprehend the scale of this place. There are a few cars parked in this massive uh, aircraft hangar, which is rather cool. There is a massive variety of porters here, some really, really nice spec ones, and it is very nice to see. I did manage to sneak my way in. Uh, turns out this is a, a, an official Porsche owners club meet, which I am not a member of. Um, but once I saw the fairy lights, uh, they it did kind of make an exception and I have gone and purchased a Porsche jacket as well so I feel like I'm really part of the team and part of the family here but anyway let me have a little waz round and show you guys some of the very special cars that are parked up on display here at Vista Heritage. It's just taken me a, probably a good hour to walk around and look at all the cars. One thing I am noticing though is all the GT3 and GT3 RSs uh, and I am especially a massive fan of all the, the kind of uh, the ones that have all the race livery on them so I am a massive massive fan of that. And I'm even debating a uh, John Player special kind of livery on my boxer so let me know in the comments if you think that would look good or not. But anyway I'm going to give you I'm going to give you guys a little walk around of some of the GT3s and the RSs with uh, my favorite kind of liveries on them. So over here is uh, one of the GT3 RSs I was talking about with the race livery so I'm a massive fan of all the kind of sponsorship details and the uh, the single stripe that goes over the bonnet and the roof and he's got 911 there Michelin on the front so I'm a massive massive fan of these kind of track focused cars that put all these liveries on there's his Instagram there if anyone's interested so mobile one Michelin around the back and to me this just looks absolutely fantastic but there's one inside which I feel is even better <laughs> so let's go take a look so my favorite gt here has to be this coca-cola livery uh, gt3 this uh, livery of course is carried over from the uh, the old 962 uh, race car that raced at le mans so from kind of the 1980s and even now uh, porsche are running this on their latest kind of gt3 uh, race cars so it's got it's got everything it's i love the kind of um, the full attention to detail, all the sponsors and the Coca-Cola with the ribbon along the bonnet that goes along the side and even to the rear bumper. Now they've followed this livery to the T. It's even got Coke it is just like the race car and all the sponsorship down below and even caffeine machine sticker. So he is a regular to my local essentially. So I hopefully see that there, but this just looks fantastic. This works so well. If I had a red Porsche, this is exactly what I would do to it. Just, I am such a fan of all the, the kind of Le Mans and the racing uh, Porsche liveries that people are putting on the modern day cars. I think that looks absolutely stunning. And of course, parked with a nice array of other red Porsches here. So that just looks absolutely stunning in my opinion. And he's even inside, you've got the red racing harnesses. Uh, and it just looks brilliant. Coke on the roof as well with the Porsche Sunstrip, Hugo Boss on the side, and even his Instagram, if anyone's interested, on the side. So this just looks incredible. I'm a huge, 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 huge fan of this. And uh, wow, maybe one day. So 
we made it down to caffeine machine and now it's rather cold hence why i'm wearing a hat it is absolutely freezing to be fair but it is now dark so the car is now in its prime and is looking brilliant quite a few people over there taking photos and a few photographers doing some night photography as well so i'll uh, wait here until they have done their thing before heading off now i am quite conscious that this video is getting rather long i know it's supposed to be christmas special but i did get rather distracted at the porsche event which was on today as well so i think the plan will be to uh, stay here for another 10 minutes with the lights looking all good and then I'll probably head to town do a couple of laps around there and get some people's reactions now it is looking absolutely fantastic and it looks really good parked pride of place right in front of the big house so I will catch you guys over when we're in town and then that's where I will end today's video <music> What a day, we are now back home and this is the last time you'll see the car like this. We drove around town and uh, got a few good reactions, hopefully we got them on camera for you guys, but mainly I think due to one, it being a Sunday and two, it being bloody freezing, there aren't that many people out. But hey, I've had a very, very good day. The car looks incredible hopefully get a chance to do this again next year maybe with this car maybe with another one who knows and uh, it was good to meet a few people today and a lot of people smiled and it did make them laugh if you enjoyed this video guys be sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell for plenty of upcoming content with this car admittedly not lit up like this but still quite as good thank you very much for watching and merry christmas